It's very dramatic music coming in because it's a very dramatic story. The James Webb Telescope is moving into a the James Webb Space Telescope, JWS, has once again turned its unblinking eye toward the depths of the cosmos and discovered something that has left astronomers both thrilled and deeply unsettled. In the cold, dark canvas of deep space where light has traveled for billions of years to reach us, Webb has detected an object that defies conventional understanding. A celestial body so massive, so energetic, and so anomalous in behavior that it doesn't fit neatly into any known category of star, black hole, or galaxy. This enigmatic object, located in a distant region of the early universe, may be the first of its kind ever seen, and has prompted an urgent rethinking of long-held theories about cosmic formation and evolution. Before we start, smash the like and subscribe buttons for more updates. What makes this object particularly disturbing to scientists is not just its sheer scale, but its temporal placement in the universe. Based on the redshift observed through the JWST's near-infrared camera NERCAM and mid-infrared instrument MIRI, the object appears to have formed just 400 million years after the Big Bang. This period, often referred to as the Cosmic Dawn, was believed to be a time when only primitive, small galaxies existed. Nothing capable of supporting the sheer gravitational intensity and energetic outflows that this object exhibits. Yet here it is, a behemoth whose gravitational field distorts the light of entire background galaxies and whose core emits levels of radiation typically associated with supermassive black holes. At the center of this mysterious structure lies an extremely dense region emitting high levels of X-ray and infrared radiation. The emissions indicate the presence of an accretion disk, gases and matter spiraling into an intense gravitational center, heating up to millions of degrees. What's chilling about this is the rate at which the matter appears to be consumed. Black holes typically grow over immense spans of time, gradually pulling in surrounding material. This object, however, is growing at an unprecedented rate, suggesting either an exotic mechanism never before observed or a fundamentally different type of cosmic body. Adding to the enigma, surrounding this dense core are rippling patterns in space-time, distortions that mimic the signature of gravitational waves, but in a manner that suggests ongoing persistent oscillation rather than a single cataclysmic event. This kind of space-time behavior doesn't fit existing models. Gravitational waves are usually the product of specific phenomena, like the collision of neutron stars or black holes. What Webb detected resembles a beating heart, as though this object is rhythmically pulsing gravitational energy outward into the universe. Spectroscopic data reveals strange elemental signatures that add yet another layer of mystery. Instead of the expected ratios of hydrogen and helium, standard for such an early cosmic period, the Webb telescope detected heavy elements like iron, silicon, and even traces of gold and uranium. These elements should not exist in such abundance so soon after the Big Bang. Their presence implies one of two equally unsettling possibilities. Either there was an unknown process of rapid stellar evolution and explosion in that region of space, or the object itself is a relic of a previous universe, an interdimensional anomaly that somehow carried complex elements across the boundary between epochs. This possibility, though deeply speculative, has gripped many astrophysicists. The idea of a multiverse has long danced on the fringes of theoretical physics, but until now, there was no observable evidence that could even be tentatively linked to it. If this object indeed bears the fingerprints of a previous universe, then the implications are vast. It could mean that the Big Bang was not a singular beginning, but merely the latest in a sequence of cosmic rebirths with each universe seeding the next through relic structures like the one now seen by Webb. Beyond its physical characteristics, the structure's shape has also baffled scientists. It is not a sphere, disk, or even a loosely assembled galactic cluster. Instead, it possesses a lattice-like geometry, with what appear to be angular filaments stretching across vast distances. These filaments are not random. They form geometric patterns that suggest some underlying organizing principle. While it's tempting to ascribe this to naturally emergent order, the scale and symmetry of the design have prompted some to question whether this is a naturally occurring phenomenon or something else entirely. There are already whispers, soft, cautious, but persistent, that the structure may not be purely natural. The very idea is enough to shake the foundations of modern cosmology. Within these filaments, Webb's instruments have detected variations in radiation that appear to repeat in consistent cycles. These pulses aren't in the random bursts typical of quasars or pulsars. They're structured, spaced at mathematically consistent intervals. 
the signal bears an eerie resemblance to a pattern, like a beacon pulsing across the void. Although no one in the scientific community is willing to publicly claim this as evidence of intelligence, the data have been double and triple checked, and the consistency remains. If this object is emitting a signal, whether through radiation or gravitational modulation, it would suggest a level of control over natural forces that far exceeds anything humanity can conceive. Even the act of generating a gravitational wave intentionally is beyond the reach of our most advanced technologies, requiring forces equivalent to the collision of stars. Yet this object seems to do so with regularity, like a heartbeat echoing across the cosmos. Astrophysicists are also perplexed by the gravitational footprint of the object. Despite its immense density and radiation output, it exerts a strange repulsion effect on nearby interstellar matter. Clouds of gas and dust that drift too close are not pulled in, but rather redirected, as if encountering a kind of cosmic barrier. This runs counter to the known behavior of black holes and similar structures, which exert only attractive forces. The repulsion, while weak, is consistent and measurable, creating a kind of bubble around the structure. This has led to speculation about the presence of exotic matter, or perhaps an unknown field influencing the interaction of mass and energy. Efforts to simulate the object using existing astrophysical models have failed. None of the current cosmological frameworks can recreate a body with these properties. The standard model of particle physics and general relativity fall apart in trying to reconcile the gravitational behaviors, the elemental composition, and the temporal anomaly of the object's formation. As a result, theoretical physicists are beginning to introduce radical alternatives, some invoking extra-dimensional theories, others drawing on the mathematics of string theory and quantum gravity. One provocative idea is that the object may be a cosmic loop, a self-contained segment of space-time folded upon itself. In this model, time within the loop would behave differently from the surrounding universe. That could potentially explain the object's accelerated evolution and unusual mass accumulation. If true, it could represent a natural form of time manipulation, a window into temporal physics that, until now, existed only in equations. Even more chilling is the suggestion that the object might be sentient, or at least part of a larger intelligence. This is not based on wild conjecture, but on the highly structured signals and geometric precision observed in its formation. A sentient structure would not only shatter assumptions about life and intelligence, but redefine the concept of consciousness itself. It would mean intelligence at a cosmic scale, distributed across light years, and expressed through gravitational force and quantum fields, rather than neurons and biology. For now, the object remains nameless, designated only by its catalog number and coordinates in the sky. Yet its presence is already transforming the way scientists think about the universe. It challenges the linear narrative of cosmic evolution and presents a vision of the cosmos as far stranger, older, and more layered than previously imagined. If confirmed to be as exotic as it currently appears, it will not only become one of the most important discoveries in human history, but could very well usher in a new era of astrophysics and metaphysical inquiry. While the public has been largely kept in the dark, discussions behind the scenes among space agencies and observatories are intense. Further observations are already underway, with plans to align data from the James Webb Telescope with upcoming surveys from the European Extremely Large Telescope ELT and the Vera C. Rubin Observatory. The hope is that by combining data across wavelengths and perspectives, a more complete picture of the object can be formed. As the Webb Telescope continues to study the structure, new layers of complexity are revealed. In its latest imaging, scientists observed changes in the object's outer geometry, slight but measurable shifts in its filamentary extension, as though the object were evolving or reacting to its environment. This dynamic nature suggests it is not a static remnant of the early universe, but a living structure, still active and changing even now, across billions of years and light years of space. There's a growing sense of urgency among scientists to understand what they are dealing with, not because it presents a clear and present danger, but because its very existence hints at forces and dimensions of reality that are still hidden from us. The unknown is always a source of both fear and fascination, and this object embodies both in equal measure. The James Webb Space Telescope has done what it was designed to do, peel back the veil of the cosmic past. But in doing so, it may have uncovered something that was never meant to be seen so soon, something that demands new questions, new tools, and perhaps a new philosophy of science itself. This terrifying and majestic object now stands as a silent sentinel in our skies, a question mark written in the language of stars and gravity, inviting humanity to decipher its meaning. Whether it is a natural phenomenon 
or a relic of a prior age, whether it pulses with intelligence or merely challenges the limits of ours, this discovery is a turning point. It marks the moment where our vision of the universe shifts once more, from a place of known laws and predictable patterns to one filled with mystery, complexity, and the haunting possibility that we are only beginning to understand what lies beyond. If you liked this video, please give it a like and subscribe to our channel. Also, leave your comments below and tell us. What are your thoughts on what the James Webb Telescope detected? We want to hear from you. Thank you for watching and see you next time.